In this video, we are going to look at how you can tell if the other traffic is slowing down for you when you're trying to change lane. And I will give you some uh, reference points. Uh, so I'm going to show you what exactly I look for in the mirrors when I try to change lane. And uh, you can use um, you know same um, reference points and they will definitely help you out. Uh, when you're uh, changing lanes. So in this situation here, we are trying to change lane to the left side. I already have my left signal on. Now, if you look in the left mirror, we see this uh, car here. Now we have to figure out if that car is slowing down for us or not, because we already have left signal on. So he see our signal. Now he's either going to slow down, he's going to speed up, or he's going to do nothing. Maybe he's driving at the same speed. And that's something we have to observe from the mirrors. Okay, so in this situation, now the car is getting bigger and bigger. As you can see, um, if we look at, um, let me go back, if we look at it again, so at this point, we see both tires. We see the whole front of the car, including the tires on the road. But now the car is uh, getting bigger and bigger. It's growing. So that means he's not slowing down for me. OK, so it's not at this point. Uh, he's pretty much beside me and uh, we see him in the circular mirror as well. So this mirror is called blind spot mirror. Um, so you might want to check out my other video about the blind spot mirrors if you haven't, um, you know, gone through that video yet. So right now he's already uh, in my blinds, uh, pretty much um, beside me in my blind spot, as you can see here. So this guy did not slow down for me. Okay, so I just want to wait, let him pass. And after that, as you can see, signal was on. And then I do shoulder check again to make sure on um, there's so let's uh, look at another example. So same thing here. Uh, we want to change lane to the left side. Now in the left mirror, uh, you can see there is a silver. Um, there is a silver car coming. At this point, the car is too far from me. I can change lane without um, any, you know, problem because he's uh, from my experience. I can tell he's uh, too far from me. And at the same point, uh, there's uh, if you look in the circular mirror here, there's no other car in my blind spot. But uh, we're just going to wait for this car um, because I want to uh, bring up a point here. As you can uh, now, you can see the car is uh, same, same thing here. We, uh, you know, what we uh, already covered in the previous uh, example. Now the car is getting bigger and bigger. So he's driving, f uh, you know, faster than um, than me so now he's pretty much um, in my blind spot here because now he uh, we don't see that car in this mirror anymore but we see him uh, in the circular mirror so that means he's in my blind spot and that's why guys um, it's important to do shoulder check before you change lane if you're only looking in your mirror here um, then you're taking a risk okay um, because this mirror, it's not going to show you if there's any anything in your blind spot, like another car, uh, motorcycle, cyclist. OK, so always, always do shoulder check. So he uh, he's in my blind spot now, so I'm just going to let him, uh, you know, pass. So that's what you're looking for. Um, so that's what you're looking for when you're changing lanes. OK, if the car is uh, you put the signal on and then you observe everything from your mirror and uh, if the car is growing that means they are speeding up so you just want to let them pass and if the car is staying same size that means they are maintaining speed and if the car is getting smaller and smaller that means they are slowing down and then you do shoulder check again to make sure your blind spot is clear and then you move over um, to the left uh, lane if you're changing lane to the left side then you move over to the left side it's same uh, same idea on the right side as well same uh, exactly same thing on the right side